Welcome and thank you for watching part two of Skyline's investigative report of the opioid crisis in Asheville and the environmental impact dirty needles have on our community. Needle exchange facilities are legal in the state of North Carolina. Participants of the exchanges receive a get out of free jail card if law enforcement finds needles, drug paraphernalia, or residual heroin. All participants have to show is that card and they legally will not go to jail. So are these get out of jail free cards a loophole in the system? And can drug addicts get high or even die on residual heroin? A drug called fentanyl is so powerful, if you simply touch it, you can overdose quickly. The opiate was developed to treat extreme pain and is usually prescribed to advanced stage cancer patients. It can be 100 times more powerful than morphine. This photo shows the amount of heroin that can cause an overdose and the amount of fentanyl that can cause the same effect. An illegal version of the synthetic drug has been popping up all over the U.S. But it's not just a danger to people who use the illegal drug. It's also posing a threat to law enforcement agents trying to get the drug off the streets. The Drug Enforcement Administration is warning officers around the country to handle fentanyl with extreme caution. Because whether it's ingested, inhaled, or absorbed through the skin, as little as two milligrams of the drug can be lethal. But the loophole? In the state of North Carolina, heroin addicts are allowed to have residual amounts of heroin as long as they are participants of a needle exchange program. But according to the United States Drug Enforcement Agency, street heroin is mixed with fentanyl, and fentanyl is 500 times stronger than heroin. The DEA says the smallest residual amount of street heroin is enough to get a heroin addict high or kill them. Needle exchange programs, are they hurting our environment? Environmentalists and sanitation workers say yes. Family members of heroin addicts go even as far as to say that needle exchange facilities are aiding and abetting drug use and the killing of their loved ones. Parks and Rec employees and sanitation workers tell Skyline that dirty needles are all over the parks, parking lots, and playgrounds in East Asheville and West Asheville. This is the bridge that leads over to the Walmart in East Asheville. Sanitation workers say the park adjacent to the Walmart is littered with needles, and especially under the bridge. And what does that bridge go over? You guessed it, the Swannanoa River. Just kind of tell everybody what you're seeing out there on the parking lot, and we'll start with you. I see a lot of junkies. I see a lot of needles, uh, people sleeping on the sidewalks. I mean, they do nasty things, man. It's bad, dude. Yeah. Sanitation workers took pictures of the needles they found under the bridge. They tell Skyline they have concerns about being stuck with these dirty needles and getting diseases such as hepatitis. How many needles are you see in a night? It depends on the night, I guess. On what side of town? It's mainly around town, mostly. I'm seeing it. After hearing about the 40 or so needles found under the Walmart bridge, we had to check this out for ourselves, and even found a person shooting up with heroin just mere 10 feet from the river. How many needles do you find in a night? Uh, it just depends. Usually sometimes five, sometimes ten. It's gotten ridiculous, and they're handing them the dope needles, and I'm just curious who's getting the payday on the dope. I mean, these guys are out here doing it. I talked to a guy from South Florida. I watched the lady give him money that worked at Mission Hospital, bought him something to eat. He sat there and fed it to his dog and laughed stating that he could go in the needle exchange program over here and get anything he wanted without exchanging it and they love coming up here because the dope's cheaper and people are stupid and give them money hillary brown is the director of the steady collective a needle exchange program here in Asheville, serving four locations miss brown declined to be on camera but confirmed with skyline that heroin users do not have to exchange dirty needles to get free clean needles. And who pays for those needles? Well, according to the North Carolina State Legislators, 
the taxpayers do. They also pay for things like tourniquets and cookers to cook the heroin in, along with other drug paraphernalia. The North Carolina General Assembly annual reporting summary says in 2017, 1,587,112 needles were distributed to heroin users. Asheville police officers tell Skyline that heroin dealers hang around needle exchange programs, feeding off the homeless and the addicted. The main office for the Steady Collective Needle Exchange Program is 297 Haywood Street. And according to Asheville Police Department, there have been a total of 29 arrests in 10 months at that location. San Francisco is one of the most iconic cities in the country, but recently tourists saying they are shocked by the conditions on the streets. Look at these pictures, citing homelessness and needle use. So what's going on in that liberal area? Former vice chair of the California Republican Party and attorney Harmeet Dillon is outraged with the conditions of her city, and she joins us now with more. Harmeet, thanks for joining us. Yes, happy to be here, Ainsley. Wonderful. Well, tell us what is happening. If we were tourists and we went to San Francisco, what would we see on the streets? Well, recently what you're going to see is a real spike in homelessness on our streets. You're going to see human excrement because these homeless people are going in the streets, even in very fancy neighborhoods. Hypodermic needles everywhere because we give out free needles to drug addicts in the city. And you'll even see people shooting up heroin right there in the middle of the day in the middle of the tourist districts in San Francisco. Sound familiar? Both Asheville and San Francisco are run by liberal leaders. So why do liberal-run cities want sanctuary cities for illegals, large homeless populations, and free needle facilities for heroin users? Could it be for votes to keep them in power? In our six-month study of needle exchange programs and the opioid crisis, we ran into a group at an Asheville needle exchange facility registering drug addicts and homeless people to vote. While there's nothing illegal about that, why would you register someone without a permanent address or was so drugged up that they could barely walk? Take a look at this and you decide. Chad Nesbitt at Skyline News. Can I ask you all a few questions? Are, you, are a lot of people registering to vote? Well, um, there isn't an election in 2019. It's a municipal election uh, like in the surrounding areas. Uh, we've had like some pretty good uh, turnout. We they have a soup kitchen downstairs and they've got uh, a needle exchange program and so forth. So a lot of people come by. Do you find that a lot of people have an address? Or are they homeless? Or are they just passing through? It's a combination of folks uh, for sure coming through here and they're able to use different addresses to, for voter registration. For Skyline News, I'm Chad Nesbitt and we thank you for watching.